Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Real Lil, and I am back again. Every day, there are news going on in the world of sports and pop culture, and I get my unique takes on them. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get all the latest updates on these hottest news and see the full episodes on my radio shows, The Real Little Show, College and Podcast Version, In the Huddle, and What's Your Grind Like Podcast. Daily updates, breaking news on my Instagram page, weekly blogs. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoy the content. Hard worker, didn't have the luxury of getting a bachelor's degree, but... You see it a lot in society where, you know, they want you to have a bachelor's degree. But that wasn't the case until now. If you haven't known Rich Paul, he basically got AD over there to LA in the trade when, you know, that was a whole year process and he was able to get AD to the Lakers. I mean, this guy's a powerful agent, one of the most, if not the most powerful agent in sports. And the NCAA, you know, once again, had to put their hands in something. Now, a lot of people are say, saying this is race-related. I tend to not go that route, but then I can see a scenario where it could be if you came to me and say, real lil, this right here is race-related. We need to stand up and we need to protest. Then I can see where you're coming from. I'm not going to be like, you know, you're smoking, you're crazy, it's not that far. I can see where you're coming from. But I also see where it's just the NCA trying to prove a point that they have the power, that they want to control everything. You, there's, you know, the conversation already that we've been hearing for the last, I don't know how long now, is about the college football players or basketball players or, or just college athletes in general being paid. You know, they, they hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. They make these schools a lot of money. And the coaches is out here with yachts and boats and farms making $50 million a year. I mean, Nick Saban, this guy got a boat and a yacht and a, and a, and a cruise right in his backyard. I mean, this boy got everything just cashing out. And these players that actually make these coaches money, that actually go on the football field or the basketball court or the tennis court, whatever the court is, and they make, they, they, they make these organizations money and profit. And guess what? They don't even receive a dime. They don't even receive a penny. They don't even receive nothing else but a scholarship for school, which, yeah, because I'm in college right now. I'm about to be in my senior year, about to graduate with that bachelor's come May. But, you know, having your tuition paid is, is a lot. But, you know, I'm not an athlete. So, you know, it, you know, I guess athletes, they want more than that, which they should get more than that. But from my perspective, that's a hell of a lot. But at the same time, these are athletes that is putting in the work in that got, you know, Full days of school, whatever. You know, that's a whole nother conversation, right? But the NCA, they sh they they always had their hands in something. You know, transfer, you know, NCA transfers. You know, we're going to make this rule. We're going to make a new rule, a new transfer rule. Oh, athletes got to do one year or two years. Uh, basketball, in the sense, is one year. Where, you know, you got to go to class. When these guys are honestly thinking about making money, they don't want to go to school. They know they're going to be drafted the next year, so they don't even want to go to class. Ben Simmons never showed up to class. He never showed up to class. You know, he, he never showed up. And it's a waste of time. When these guys that are, not everybody could, could play in the NBA or whatever. Right? Like that. But some of these guys are NBA ready. And they should be able to have that option. Right? So once again... This rich poor um, rule is is the NCA once again putting their hand in everything. Now they want to put their hand on 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 this, and they want to raise the standard of having a bachelor's degree because you know this guy rich poor didn't have the luxury of having a bachelor's degree. When all actuality, yes, a bachelor's degree means it means something. Yes, we all know that. You know, you you did four years of hard work in college. Like I said, I'm a college student currently. I'm about to graduate in a couple months. And, you know, you want something to account for your hard work, right? But for other people, whatever reason, whether it's financial reasons, whether it's family issues, whatever the reason is, or they, they, they just didn't decide to go. They don't have the luxury of going to college, right? And so should they just fold like a tent and just sit on a sofa like this all day? Like... Uh, I wonder what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, Jack. 
Mm, I can't get no job. So they supposed to sit there like that the whole day. Or or they gonna be on their feet hustling and, and hustling even harder than somebody that don't have a bachelor's degree. And also we do see guys with bachelor's degree that are like this. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, Jack. You know, ain't no jobs out here for a dude. You know, it's like that. People with bachelor's degree have trouble finding jobs. And I know people in the industry that I'm in, you know, when I go to these local studios and do internships and stuff like that, that are in the same predicament as me, if not a little bit better, with no bachelor's degree. It's all about, to be honest with you, it's all about who you know and the work that you put in as well. So this bachelor's degree, yeah, it helps. It helps to go to college. Trust me, I'm not trying to promote any message that's telling anybody watching this live to not go to college. Because I believe going to college is very valuable. Not for the academics. Now, if we having a, a conversation about that, then we got to be very specific. Not with the academics. To be honest with you, I don't think I really learned nothing in college academically to where I needed to go. But as far as socially, as far as... You know, making up my bed in the dorm room, cooking, you know, being able to, to provide for myself and also using the resources that college um, college campuses have, like the radio station and, and the TV station. You know, getting that value experience that I can get in my four years so I can take with me to the real world. That definitely come in handy a lot and that's a lot of experience. But however, if you didn't go to college... You didn't have a bachelor's degree, but you still find your way in the field and you still put the, put the work in, then you got your own set of experience as well. What's good? Misfit, Murder Ave Gang, we in the building. Make sure y'all check out my last battle, Fire, Always Bodies. After that, check out Real Fans, Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not